What's up, guys? We have another big time week in college football. I wanted to briefly update you on what went down last week and talk about what to watch today. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Last week's biggest matchup was Ohio State traveling to Oregon, two top five matchups. Without Jordan Birch on that Oregon defensive line, I expected them to struggle. But defensive tackle Derek Harmon was terrorizing the Ohio State D-line, showing that there's another stud prospect on that Oregon D-line. Also, linebacker Yuga Lele was everywhere. He had a great game too. But Oregon held on for a monster win against Ohio State. I was disappointed in both of Ohio State's edge rushers. JT Tui Maloau and Jack Sawyer struggled against Oregon's stud tackles. Although their defensive tackle Tyleek Williams had a great game, he's a big, powerful, and athletic defensive tackle. All four of my games of the week last week lived up to the hype, though. Penn State took down Lincoln Riley's USC squad in overtime. LSU also needed overtime to upset Ole Miss, who was missing star pass rusher Princely Umana Malayan from the game. He did not play. But both of LSU's tackles looked dominant. Alabama barely survived against South Carolina with a late comeback. And Texas dominated Oklahoma with Quinn Ewers back looking like the best team in the country. And that segues perfectly into this week where Texas gets a chance to prove that they are the best, facing off against number five, Georgia. Back-to-back -back weeks of two top five teams facing off against each other. It's another big week for college football. A few other big-time matchups I'll be keeping my eye on. Illinois is taking on Michigan. Alabama will be taking on Tennessee. And Miami is taking on Louisville right now. I'll go ahead and talk briefly about each game. Early on, it's Miami against Louisville, where Cam Ward has led Miami to a 6-0 start. This team is simply fun to watch, but this should be a tough matchup. This game will already be started by the time I get this video out, but watch out for pass rusher Ashton Gillette on Louisville, and they have freshman kicker Adam Vinatieri Jr. Miami also has a former NFL star son as well, Freshman running back Chris Johnson Jr., CJ2K, the running back who ran a 4.2140 and lit up the league as a Tennessee Titan. But then we have two big-time matchups this afternoon. You can choose to watch the Big Ten matchup or the SCC matchup. I'll be watching both. Michigan is traveling to Champaign to take on the Fighting Illini. This is a huge game for Illinois. It's the first time there's been a ranked versus ranked matchup in Champaign in 24 years, since the year 2000. And the Illini are breaking out some 1924 throwback uniforms today. This should be a fun one. Michigan is loaded on defense. Will Johnson and Mason Graham are two of the best defensive players in the country, but their entire defensive line is just loaded, and they have two running backs that are going to get drafted and talent in the trenches on offense as well. Michigan is going to be a tough test for the Illini, who have been led by quarterback Luke Altmeyer and Pat Bryan on offense. They have some younger, exciting talent as well, both of Owen Crute's sons play for this team, center Josh Crute's and linebacker James Crute's. They also have young freshman wideout Colin Dixon and sophomore running back Caden Fegan. This should be a great matchup and the crowd should be going wild for this one. But then at the same time, there's also a clash in the SEC of Bama versus Tennessee. There's probably a lot more NFL talent in this game. You have popular Bears mock draft targets Tyler Booker, Parker Brelsford, and Tennessee's pass rusher James Pierce Jr. Tyler Booker is arguably the best guard in the nation. He hasn't allowed a single pressure all season. He's a dominant interior lineman and a guy to keep an eye on. And then Parker Brelsford is one of the top three centers in the class. He's played at Washington the last few years with Romo Dunze and Michael Penix Jr., before transferring to Bama this year. Bama has a ton of talent on defense as well, but two of the best underclassmen in the nation as well. Caden Proctor, their left tackle, is only a sophomore, but he's already on NFL Draft Scouts' radar. They are watching this guy. 
And then same with 17-year-old true freshman wideout Ryan Williams. I've never been a Bama fan, but they have a ton of guys I have to scout this year. Meanwhile, Tennessee is led by stud pass rusher James Pierce Jr., but they also have a young freshman phenom as well, quarterback Nico Imalava. A couple of other players to watch on Tennessee, though, are running back Dylan Sampson in the right side of that offensive line. The guy who replaced Darnell Wright is John Campbell Jr. at right tackle, but then their right guard, Javantez Spragans, is another stud prospect to keep an eye on. Both of these teams come into this game struggling. Tennessee hasn't scored in the first half in the last two weeks, and Alabama has given up an absurd amount of fourth down conversions. But moving on to my game of the week, it's tonight's matchup, number five ranked Georgia taking on number one ranked Texas. This is the second straight week we've had two top five teams face off. Last week it was Oregon versus Ohio State. This week it's Georgia versus Texas. Both of these teams are stacked with NFL draft talent on both sides of the ball. Texas has the second best left tackle in the draft, Kelvin Banks Jr., another stud guard in DJ Campbell, and a center I've been watching as well, Jake Majors. Loaded with talent, Quinn Ewers will lead this team, but Arch Manning is waiting in the wings to lead this team in the future. But then for Georgia, their entire offensive line will probably get drafted at some point. Right guard Tate Ratledge is right there with Bama's Tyler Booker for the best guard in the nation but he's most likely out again today. Reports say he's getting closer to coming back, and he could serve as an emergency backup tonight, but he is not going to start. But his backup, Michael Morris, has been awesome on his own and is now on draft boards around the NFL. On top of that, left guard Dylan Fairchild is also a stud. He's going to get drafted in the first two rounds next year. And then center Jared Wilson has a ton of talent as well. But then on defense, the guy I'll be watching is pass rusher Michael Williams, getting a chance to go head-to-head -head against Kelvin Banks Jr. Williams is one of the top pass rushers in the nation, but he's been dealing with an ankle injury all season. He is reportedly ready to go tonight versus Texas. This should be really exciting. This is my must-see game of the week. But a couple of other games, if you're looking for more action, Colorado versus Arizona, USC versus Maryland, Arizona State versus Cincinnati, Iowa versus Michigan State, and then UNLV versus Oregon State is the late game tonight. As always, I appreciate everyone who watches. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I'll be watching today, the NFL draft prospects to watch, and who to keep an eye on if you're watching yourself. Please remember to hit that like button for me, guys. Stay tuned. I have so much more content on the way. And until next time... Bear down.